this is Frankie Bunny. Look at this. Ah, so fragrant this flower is. And this is the tree. I'm here in the garden of Gate Tower. And this is full of trees and full of Frankie Bunny trees actually. It's a shrub. You can't call it a tree. Now what I'm talking to you about is fragrance. If this fragrance, if you want to make it into a bottle and if you want to sell it, can you trademark it? No, it is a little bit difficult. Okay, there is a provision for olifactory uh, trademarks, but it is a difficult process altogether. Because this fragrance, if you bottle and keep it in the trademark office, it will change after some time. There is, you cannot use a preservative or something to make the same fragrance bottled and kept in the trademark office. Okay, so what will happen to your unique? smell which you have already produced by mixing something some formulas you can only protect it by way of patents but patents also patentability is a difficult task when it comes to the smell so what does the perfume companies do there are a lot of perfume companies over there they keep it as trade secret so the trade secret is also an IPR of your company so always it is better to keep the fragrance a trade secret rather than going for a trademark or a patent so keep it in mind all factory senses are also very important which you can make it into a business and you know smells and fragrance scents are the strongest of the strongest senses in our body okay so I'll come with another topic soon